It's Corinne from I Knit You Not, and I am still working on this sweater. Specifically, I am still working on the yoke of the Comfort Sweater by Darling Jador, and uh, it's wearing on me. If you'll remember from my last video, which I'll link here, I've spent days on the yoke. It's going forever, and ever, and ever, and at this pace, I'll never finish in time for my birthday. On January 4th 2023 I'm trying not to stress about it but in reality I am not just stressed I am super stressed about it it's why I'm no good at goal setting the fear of failure sets in early fills me with an anxiety that holds me back from actually achieving that goal still I forge on Spotify came out with their wrapped playlist today. I, of course, was in the top 0.005% of listeners for the Decemberists because where else would I be for my favorite band? My wrapped playlist is filled with my current favorites, and I am spending all day in my pajim jams, knitting and singing along to every song on the playlist of bangers like this. Music is a big part of my crafting. In fact, it's a big part of my daily life. I listen to music much more than I listen to podcasts or binge watch Netflix. It gives me a rhythm to craft to, something to concentrate on without taking up too much of my attention, something beautiful to fill the air while I create. I also stim to it. My neurodivergent brain clings to the music like I won't survive without it. Want proof? Yeah. Sometimes I think it's a problem, but then I realize I'm enjoying myself. And it's not like it's hurting anybody else, unless they have to listen to me listen to the same song 87 times in a row.
It's my sibling's birthday today. We got together, ate cake, and watched the Bad Girls Club. I didn't think much about knitting at all, and I'm okay with that. Today's a really big day for me, and it's really hard to concentrate on knitting. My crochet pattern, First Snow, is appearing in Crochet Foundry magazine, my first ever magazine submission. I spent the first part of the day doing the social media blitz, making sure that everybody knows where they can find it, and now I'm tired. It was a long road, and I'm feeling every single possible feeling about it, but mostly pride and gratitude. This is something I never thought possible, and I managed to do it with the help of my family, friends, and the people at Crochet Foundry. I have to get my buddy Riley in on the crafting. She loves just sitting with me, no matter where I am in the house. 90% of the time she's in the same room, just chilling out, and we're enjoying each other's company. She's my ride or die. today. Really tired. Fatigue from my fibromyalgia is setting in, as is the inevitable letdown after the magazine launch yesterday, and I am feeling it. It's hard to make myself knit. Every stitch feels like a chore. I'd rather be in bed. Eventually, I just give up for the day. We'll try again tomorrow. Today, I've decided, is a fitting day. I take some time to put a lifeline in to hold my stitches in place to see if I can finally be done with this yoke.
it has to reach the whitest part of my bust, but we are a lot closer than we were. But there's a problem. I'm realizing that the yarn yardage estimate from the pattern is off. Way off. And I'm going to run out before I finish this pattern. There's no question about it, so it's time to head to my favorite place. Oh, Joanne, how much money have I spent in you? How much joy have I gotten out of wandering your aisles? I'm almost tempted by other yarns, but no, I must be strong, even in the face of all these pretty muted colors. I do find a few skeins of touch of alpaca in the right color, and I scoop them up immediately. I hope it's enough. The dye lots don't match, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Being a commercial yarn, the colors are pretty close to each other. I'm too lazy to alternate skeins or anything. Whatever happens is gonna happen. Watching Critical Role's Xandria Unlimited Calamity yet again as I knit today. I think this might be the sixth or seventh time? It's probably not a good idea to knit and watch at the same time. I get distracted easily, and besides, all the tears might felt the yarn. It's another music and tea day today. It's also a day where I feel very dysregulated. As an autistic person, normally I can contain my stims, at least while I'm filming videos. Today it's near impossible. I rock back and forth as I knit to calm myself. I flex my hands, I wiggle my toes and feet. I wear blankets and a hat inside, not for the warmth, but for the pressure to feel like I'm being hugged. It feels good. The music helps. Good music feels like scratching an itch on my brain I can't otherwise reach. For a while, I consider not filming myself today. I feel vulnerable, like I'm letting some huge secret out to the world. But I can trust you, right? I've separated for the sleeves, finally, and I'm working on the body of the sweater. It should be smooth sailing, which is good, because these days are my role-playing days. I'm running a game of Monster of the Week and playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons on back-to-back -back days, and with miles and miles of stockinette stitch ahead of me, it's ideal timing for some mindless knitting. Tabletop RPGs are my other love, besides fiber arts. They're another creative outlet for me, a way to be social and flex my storytelling skills and have fun with friends. I honestly couldn't imagine a life without these silly little games.
Of course, I get a little distracted when we get attacked on the road by a 20-foot beaver. That's D&D for you. I just want to give a quick and heartfelt thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You all are the reason that I can do things like run to Joanne when I'm running out of yarn for a sweater. So, thank you for all that you do. Love you! If you're not a patron and would like to become one, I've put a link in the description. See you next time!